now. Yeah, Jacqueline, this bill has bounced from the House to the Senate, and now it is back in the House again, which will vote on what is expected to be the final version of this tomorrow. Now, that does meet the deadline that the Biden administration had set to avoid unemployment benefits expiring, but it still means people are waiting for money that they were promised months ago. Stimulus checks is way behind. As the House prepares to vote in Washington on the bill that will send another round of checks, it's a remarkable, historic, transformative piece of legislation. Some constituents back home anxious for them to arrive. How do you think you're going to use yours? Bills. Kids doing bills. Yeah. Backed up bills. Yeah. Will it will it be enough to catch you up? Probably not, but it's help. The American Rescue Package will send $1,400 per person to those who qualify, so a family of four could get $5,600. It's money that's been talked about for months, since before President Biden took office, now almost on its way to ease budgets. Things like this, groceries, you got to pay the prices. Gas, you pull in gas station, $3 a gallon now, and it'll be more than that by the summer. How quickly will these checks go out? Like yesterday. Well, they didn't go out yesterday. Congressman Dwight Evans sits on the Ways and Means Committee that oversees the IRS, tasked with sending these checks out. Have they given you any indication of how quickly this could happen? I mean, is it, could it happen in a week? Is it, are we going to have to I'm wait three weeks? To, matter of fact, I'm talking to him tomorrow, the head of the, the Internal Revenue. Believe me, I, I'm doing everything I humanly possibly can do to get this needles in the arms, needles in the arms. Money in people's pockets, jobs in households. The $1.9 trillion bill also includes money for state and local governments, for schools, and an expanded child tax credit that will send more money to families. Critics say it's too large. 90% of it's got nothing to do with COVID. Congressman Evans says yes, it does address more than the pandemic. Who did the pandemic affect the most? It affected basically people of poor and it basically affected people of color getting at the roots of issues like poverty and housing. In my view, this is an attempt to make corrections. And as for those checks, I asked the IRS what you can expect this time, but they told me that they couldn't comment on pending legislation. So that's where tomorrow's vote on the president's signature will change things. And we're going to keep you updated as we learn more about the timing. I'm Lauren Make, NBC10 News.